Hi everyone, I'm Miss Christine, the Early Literacy Librarian at the New Orleans Public Library. And I'm so excited that you joined me for story time today because I will be sharing three stories that all take place in different bodies of water. Do you think you can help me spell this word? Let's try it together. W A T E R spells water. Very good. Our first book takes place in a body of water called the ocean, and this book is entitled The Pout Pout Fish. And I wanted to share this with you today because it has a part in it that you can help me read. Yep, you can help me, and I will help you by running my finger underneath the word so that when it comes time for you to read, you can. And the word is love, blub, blub. Let's practice that together, maybe with a pouty face. Go. Blub, blub, blub. I think we're ready for The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Love, love, love. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Miss Clam, I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub. Blah. Along comes a jellyfish. He flows through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. My turn. Very good. Let's keep going. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of moat, how about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before, this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just a gas. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks.
speaks at last. My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 and smooch. The end. Great job helping me read. That was beautiful. Now for our next story I'm going to share, it's actually a song. And I like singing songs all the time because they help us tell stories that have a beginning, middle, and an end. And this story is about five green and speckled frogs who sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. One hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool, then he left his friends on the log. Okay. So before we get started, let's count our frogs together. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. One, two, three, four. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. One, two, three, go. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. One, two, Two green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One, go. One green and speckled frog sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He hopped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Thank you for singing that song with me all about frogs who like to jump in a pool of water. Our last book is about a body of water called a pond. And this book is called In the Small, Small Pond by Denise Fleming. And we're going to learn about some animals that live in and around a pond and find out what they do there. In the small, small pond, wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wriggle. Waddle, wade, geese, parade. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Can you quiver your wings like the dragonflies? Good job. Drowse, doze, eyes close like the turtles. Lash, lunge, herons plunge their beaks into the water. Splitter, splatter, minnows scatter. Circle, swirl, whirligigs twirl. Can you twirl in a circle? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sweep, swoop, swallow, scoop. Scoop. Clip, clap, claws, crack. Can you? 
clack your paws like the lobster or maybe the crawfish. Clack, 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 clack. Dabble dip, tails flip. Splish splash, paws flash. Show me your paws like the raccoon. Pile pack, muskrat stack. Up, up, up. Chill breeze, winter freeze. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. The end. And that's the end of our story time. If you like the stories that we read and shared today, visit us at nolalibrary.org and check, on, check out um, the e-resources just for kids and you can look at the tumble books that are interactive e-books that you can read along with. All right, that's all we have for today. And we're gonna sing our goodbye song that's just like our hello song, except we say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.